It's been one week since 20-year-old Brandon Robinson was gunned down at the Hugini Suites on South Carolina State University's campus. Tonight, family and friends gathering for a visual to remember Robinson's life. Tears in the eyes and things, you know, some people are just in there supporting, but, you know, everybody's together trying to help each other out through it. The tragic news came as a shock to the Bulldog family, as many described the industrial engineering major as kind and giving. Student Government Association President Akeem Brown attended high school at Orangeburg Wilkinson with Robinson and remembers the good times they had together. I didn't know him as to be my best friend, but when I did come into uh, interactions with him, he was very humble and very selfless. He would do anything that he could uh, for you. Um, and it was just a smile that he had around campus, both on the high school level and in college. It's hard to believe that this kid, you know, you talked to a week or so ago, was gone. And, and you know, in the tragic way it happened, it makes it even more hard to believe because Brandon was the type of kid that you know, he didn't get in any trouble and didn't cause any problems. So it just, you know, it's the emotion still is just not, you know, it's hard to register that, you know, you lost a kid that you coached a couple years ago and, you know, he's gone and, you know, the way he died is just kind of unbelievable. An issue Brown says is hurting college campuses. It's a close knit community, so of course it hurts us even more to lose someone who's a part of our community um, that we interact with day to day. And so what I want, if anyone, to understand is that um, help us, pray for us, support us, um, and don't look at this situation as being um, something that does not happen every day. This is an issue that we have to face.